What's up guys? Aaron from Aaron's Review back here with another review. So as you can see uh, my order came in for dip and today we are reviewing Skoll Apple Tobacco Blend Long Cut. So I'm gonna open this log and we'll get into the presentation of the can. So here we are, Skoll on the front with the warning label, the Apple Tobacco Long Cut. Um, on the side it says warning label and Smolkus Tobacco, 100% American Tobacco, then branding, then it says standard 1.2 ounce can. Tax Class M, U.S. Smokeless Tobacco, Nashville, Tennessee. And then barcode in the background. The date is sell by May 17th, 2020. So it's still a good date. I have never tried this. I'm excited to try it. See how it compares to Crisp Blend, which is apple and citrus. That's why I got this, because I like Crisp Blend. And the part of the crisp blend I liked was the apple part of it. So let's cut into it. Love that sound. Ooh, I like that smell. It does not smell that different to crisp blend. It it really doesn't, which is great because I like crisp blend. <laughs> so there it is. Skull. U.S. Smokeless Cut. If you're looking at the cut there, it's standard long cut. It smells, not that a lot of you Americans know what crisp blend smells like, but it smells like, a, like apple and like a s green apple without the little citrus hint. I'm excited. So let's pack her. Get yourself a pinch. If you guys out there have something to dip, have a dip with me. So there we go. Pinch is really good. Let's give her a shot. Pause it for a second. All right. So let's go through the review here. Honestly, I can't tell the difference. I can't tell the difference between it and crisp blend. I'm trying to taste the difference, but I seriously can't tell the difference. Which is weird because I expected a difference. Don't get me wrong, it's really good. Like, I just don't understand why it isn't different than Crisp Blend. So, if any of you out there have tried Crisp Blend,
and tried apple. Tell me if you can taste a difference. I know Crisp Blend isn't sold anymore in the American market, but maybe some of you back in the day had tried it. It's, it's nice and moist. The date's still good. Um, it's soft in the gum. Yep. It's a good dip. Like, but again, it's crazy how it tastes identical to Skull Crisp Blend. I can't get over it. So, on that note, I have a question for you guys out there. So, the sell-by date is May 17th. I got a five catalog, and I will probably go through one of these a week. Now, I dip more than a can a week, but I have a routine where I dip two or three different flavors in a day. Is it worth it putting this in the fridge or the freezer? Or which one should I put it in? Or whether it's, I just leave it in my, I have a nice little wooden chest that I keep all my tobacco in. I'll show it to you guys in one video. Um, I've always worried that it would dry it out, but people say it keeps it fresh. So looking for some feedback on that. Um, yeah, it, uh, it tastes really good. It tastes like Chris Blend though. It tastes like green apple. Um, I'm trying to find a difference and I just can't find one. I do have a little bit of Chris Blend left in another can that, um, I might try and just to see but it's it's uncanny but I do enjoy it and I'm glad this is what I chose I have a connection now that can get me American tobacco um, not all of the stuff that can get skull Copenhagen um, some chew, um, possibly some stokers, um, in logs, and I can get it for $80 Canadian a log, not include shipping, which is really good. It works out to like, I don't know, uh, let me do the math in my head here, 15, 30, 60, it's about 17 bucks a can. Now compared to $30 a can. That's great. That's like half price. And I get American dip. I got more choices. You know, I'm thinking next order I might get school cherry. That was the first dip I ever dipped. And, you know, I don't know if I miss it enough to get a whole log, but I can only get logs. I can't get individual cans. So I, I did get a log of Copenhagen Strait, and I got a log of this, and I got something else that I'll be reviewing in the near future. So, just crazy how it feels like I'm dipping Chris Plant, which is great because I like Chris Plant. I can get that in Canada, and that's why I chose this because I wanted to play it safe with my first order. It, it tastes like apple and it tastes really good. I, I know this review isn't the best. I just am shocked at how it tastes exactly the same. I'm shocked. So. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be making another review tomorrow. Trying to bump up my uh, uploads right now. So I can hopefully get more subscribers. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, give me a comment, like. I'm always trying to get more subscribers. I'm still under 20, which is sad, but you know, um, I'll get there. I'm sure I will with some help from the dipping community. 
Today is my oldest five-year-old, oldest child's five, fifth birthday. So we got her a bike, which I'm giving her tomorrow, her first bike, so that'll be fun. And we had a cake today, and it was nice. It's kind of hard to have a birthday party for a kid when the coronavirus is going on, but yeah, it's been a good day. Work went really well. Got, got off work early on a Friday, so hope everybody's having as good as weekend as I plan to. Um, yeah, my final thoughts on this, it, it tastes really good. It tastes like apple, it tastes like crisp blend. And uh, you Americans out there, pick it up. It's a good dip. It's a nice change of taste. It doesn't, to me, it's not super fruity like all these other ones. It has that little bit of tartness to it, which I like. Um, Sue Thai Dip and Chew Guy, I hope you're doing well. I saw in one of your videos that you fell in some poison ivy or something and you're all swollen up. So, hope you're doing well. Um, yeah, that's this review. Um, like I said, I'm planning to upload another one tomorrow. So, yeah, that is the review for Skull Apple Tobacco Blend Long Cut. This is Aaron from Aaron's Review and more, and talk to you guys soon.